Hi, and welcome to a video where we start implementing VGG face tool for facial similarity comparison. All right, so open IPython notebook number 17 called facial recognition with VGG face. So I already have it open here. So let's just get started with this lesson. So in this section, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run through the code that helps us load and use our VGG face model. So I'm not going to explain every single line in detail how it is stuff you've seen before. So hopefully you can quickly follow. There's a new library I'm going to use here though. It's called Pill or Pillow, which is a very useful Python imaging library. Pretty cool. It has a lot of good tools in it that I use sometimes better than OpenCV in some cases. You'll see how we use it in this exercise as well. And everything else is stuff you pretty much have seen before. So let's firstly just import all of these things. So let's run this first block of code. And now let's define our VGG face model. So this is the model here, the exact same model that the Oxford researchers used. You can see it's a relatively simple model. It just has a number of convolutional layers here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, VGG 16, hint, hint, why it's named VGG. 16 convolutional layers here, all with zero padding at the end here. So we sort of maintain the size going through. And if you want, you can take a look at the research paper in the link in the previous video. So you can take a look at the CNN in detail if you wanted to. But either way, we just defined a model, same model that those guys used right here. So let's run this now. Takes a couple seconds to run. And there we go. So now we're not going to train this model. Okay. What we're going to do. We're going to download the weights, which I provided in the course already. But if you don't have it, you can download it at this link here or this link here. And what we do, put a line here. We can use this tool here called import from model here. I actually need this because I'm just using the model that load weights here, which model was defined. Either way, you actually just load the weights here. The weights point to a model that we already trained. So instead of using model load, we just load the weights. Now the weights will match the model that you defined up here. So you don't have to think about it too much. So now I'm going to talk a bit about cosine similarity. So cosine similarity is remember we talked about Siamese networks and Siamese networks are this CNN it's above here that gives us two outputs and we have to find use them. Once we send the images in it, it uses something to find a distance metric between them based on the descriptors that those CNNs extract. So what we're actually doing with cosine similarity, remember we were getting a, a vector of descriptor outputs from our Siamese network and what Siamese network is using internally as well is a distance metric that we're going to use here, which is cosine similarity. And it simply measures the cosine of the angle between the two vectors that are projected in the multidimensional space that we're looking at here. All right. So it may seem a little bit confusing, but you can actually look online on YouTube to get some very nice tutorials that explain cosine similarity if you're having trouble understanding it. It's just a measure of distance, similar to Euclidean dis distance. Euclidean distance here would measure the actual distance here, distance AB. Cosine similarity is going to measure the angle here. So sorry if I was pointing here before. I actually meant to point here. Sorry about that. So anyhow, that's just now. We're going to define some two functions here that we're going to use in our little experiment using VGG face. First one is just a preprocessing function here. This preprocessing function is actually quite simple. It's just a way to take the image from the image path we specify and return the image in a way that we can actually input it into our scene and we can propagate it using this function here. Okay, just to get the image in the correct form. Remember, we used to, we had to move change images in different forms in our CNN previously when we were training. Remember that? So that's what we're doing here. And now this is our cosine similarity function here. We have a source, we have a test representation, and we just do some basic mathematics using NumPy here and the last line here to just get the cosine similarity. And now, lastly, in this little tool here, we create the VGD descriptor object. So that's just done here where we have model and we have our inputs, which are the model layers from the first layer and then the outputs as well here. And this one, I don't expect you guys to understand too much what's going on here. It's just the way we're used utilizing the model for our purposes. Okay. And now what we're going to do, we're going to define our verify face function where we just, where it takes two images here as the inputs and then compares them and then tells you whether they are not, whether or not they're the same person based on a threshold that we've defined. Okay. Our threshold is 0 
Anything under 0.4, we're going to say is the same person. If it's over 0.4, we're going to tell the user, which is us, which is our own code, to be fair. It just tells us that it's not the same person, okay? And we're just going to use some little matplotlib things here just to plot out the images below. And we use our function right here. So as I said, remember, we're using VGD Descriptor here to forward propagate our image in here. We point it to the directory, we preprocess the image, and then we just get the output of it here, the vector of outputs. So we have image representation one and two, and then we just use a cosine similarity to find the difference between those two images here using our VGG face descriptors. Okay, so let's run this code. Okay, so we've executed this function. This is just to define this function here. And now let's actually compare it. So I'm pointing it to two pictures of my wife. And now let's run this and let's see if it tells us if it's the same person or not. So let's take a look. And yes, the cosine similarity is under 0.4, uh, which indicates that it's the same person. So now let's try it with a different picture of her. Whoops, I accidentally revealed to you the cosine similarity already. But if you didn't see it before, let's take a look at what it is. And it is 0.31. So they're a bit dissimilar, but still close enough that we are using VGT to tell us that they're the same person. So this is pretty cool. Okay. Now let's compare to Jennifer Lopez. So let's take a look at these two pictures here. And what do you think is the cosine similarity? Let's take a look. 0.425. And that means you're not the same person because you're different enough to be again over our threshold. So now let's compare Jennifer Lopez to Lady Gaga. Obviously they're not the same person visually, but let's see, 147. So they're definitely not the same person. So that is pretty cool. Okay, so that is the end of our lesson here. So what exactly have we learned in this video? Well, you've learned how to load VGG and load the weights into the model. You've learned how to create the similarity function, which was a cosine similarity that we used. And you've learned what cosine similarity is actually. And then you learned how to use VGG face and the cosine similarity function, which we defined to compute the distances or basically find the similarity of faces. And it actually worked quite well in our examples. So now let's move on to the next video where we actually build our working deep learning facial recognition system. So stay tuned. Thank you.